briefly go upon the feed forward side, meaning how can you predictively send the data before itself so that less compensation is needed on the CTA. Right? So this is what happens here. Same thing here. You will do a this is no equalization. Right? The red line is the regular pulse that you have sent. Here in the TX side, you need feed forward. So you try and introduce some tap. What are those taps? The tap I bring you back here. So this is this is your signal after you the small pulse is transmitted to the channel and received here. So each of these pulse, now you break it down into one time unit that you have here. You break down this entire thing into time units and see how many time units is your signal spreading to. This particular signal, it is starting from minus 3 going up to 10, meaning 13 units, unit intervals it is traversing. Meaning this pulse can impact 13 pulses or 13 data points. 3, it would be before, which is on the rising time, rise time curve or rising edge and the falling edge is on a much higher one. So each of these pulse, you go and find out what is the energy and then say this is the amount of energy at each one of the pulse. So this energy number normalized to the regular value becomes a coefficient. Okay, what is the coefficient of the tap that you are going to use? So here you will see all these are positive, more than zero. But when you start equalizing to ensure that all this energy gets fit into this, you have to go sometimes negative, smaller up and down you will go. So there it comes your negative coefficient. So the negative coefficients come basically here. So to recreate this action, right? This is the expected action that we have. You will recreate this router with a three tap coefficient. What are the taps? One is at the tap which is at the center. One unit to the left is one tap. One unit to the right is one tap. So three taps you will take. And you will recreate this blue graph in the TX side. And that will typically look like this. So this energy distribution, if you see here, the bigger one is on the left hand side, that will come here. The smaller one on the right hand side will come before. So the energy is getting distributed with these three taps. So you see one, two, three units. Then three units you bring back. So this is called your equalization where you send the data beforehand itself. This is why you call feed forward the data. So this is called feed forward equalization. So how do we do? This is your typical digital one. You said digital equalization. What you would do? One unit of delay. So you have a delay element. Another unit of delay, you have a delay element. So one coefficient is your center. One before, one after. If you get these three coefficients, this effectively becomes your final output that needs to be transmitted to the channel. Now, many standards have been developed and you have come across this kind of a pre-emphasis filter. So what does this pre-emphasis mean? These are the various voltages that you see and for these voltages and this frequency of the signal, you will change the height. For example, VA here is the maximum voltage that you get for highest changing data, meaning you have a continuous toggle of 1010 on your data, which is the highest speed you have maximum height. But if you have a series of ones or a series of zeros, that means there is no change required. So this phase would probably introduce that particular change. Meaning you have a series of zeros or ones, this is typically a series of ones, so you try and reduce. So as a series of one, what happens? This frequency reduces, right? So you are on the right hand side toward the origin. Your frequency is lower. You have better gain in your system. Following it. So this is your loss. Right? The highest frequency would be the highest amplitude. So you keep it here. As the frequency or if you send a series of ones, what does that mean? Send a series of ones is it's a low frequency signal. So that signal essentially comes here. So it doesn't need significant gain or doesn't undergo loss. So that is why you send. Now this small change here is a 0 to 1 or a 1 to 0 transition. So when you need a transition, you need a slightly more gain. And again, this will be a 1 to 0 transition, highest frequency to back. So that's why you will have V A and V D almost being same. Okay. So what they did was, this is called a de-emphasis. So you de-emphasize V D with respect to V A, meaning this frequency reference. Then you do a pre-shoot, meaning you need to shoot up the value a little 
So that is with respect to C and D. Meaning, when you have a zero to one transition after a long series of ones, finally you have a boost again. Meaning, after series you send, you get a very short zero to one, zero to one signal there. You again have to boost up the signal. You get a VD, Y VD. If you see for these two, PC and VD, VB is your reference. But for VB, V is your reference. So this is the voltage. So this is the typical signal that gets transmitted from the TX into the channel. So that is what we do. And here, this is a quick understanding. Now, how do you do pre-emphasis? There, you typically use current-based control. So you increase the current, decrease the current to increase or reduce the amplitude. Basically, V into IR. I is more, you get more amplitude. I is less, you get less amplitude. Use that concept and get it done. So it's a very simple one. You have a driver and you monitor that outputs. As you monitor the outputs, you also get a delay element, send it to a pre driver, attach it back and use it. So you get two, three signals delay overlapped here. So this is going to be your actual signal, but this would be the emphasized and de-emphasized signal which finally would go out. So this is your input of the transmitter. This will be your output of the transmitter. Okay. So this handles, this takes care of the precursor portion. The noise amplification, you will have to correct it in the receiver side. So a quick example of how this would be implemented. So X, this is again your fire filter. So this you can implement. You can implement easily on a digital platform and get it done pre-emphasis. So this is what would happen. If your channel is like this, you de-emphasize the low frequency channel and re-emphasize the high frequency channel. Ensure that you have a flat line till the frequency of your interest. Okay, so now we have understood what happens at the pre-emphasis side. 